Alex here, Unreal Guide, and today I want to show you a quick start with Unreal Engine 5, atmospheric clouds and everything in between. We are going to use 3ds Max model. As you can see here, this cool museum is ready to go into Unreal Engine. And I'm going to show you a quick setup of lighting, environment and everything in between inside Unreal. So this is a quick start for beginners. If you want to start with Unreal Engine, just follow those steps. Click on the blank template here with maximum uh, desktop started content. Let's call this test. It's just a test and start our Unreal Engine 5. All right, so we can see our Unreal Engine is coming up really quickly. And here I'm going to dismiss and update. So I'm going to start from scratch and we're going to create a new level. As you can see, we can have a level already set up with all the atmospherics and everything, but I want to show you how to do it from scratch. So let's click create blank. Now here we have panel with lights, environment light mixer. So let's put it on normal and start creating. So we need skylight, atmospheric light. We need just one in this, in this case, but we can have more of that. Sky atmosphere, volumetric clouds and create height fog. Voila. So we have our clouds and everything is working nicely. So now if you uh, scroll down here and click real time capture, we can click control L and with our mouse, we can direct the sun. Now I'm not crazy about those clouds. So uh, we can actually change them. If we go back to our content browser, and here we put plugin content and Unreal Engine content. Okay, now let's save our level. Save current. Let's call it test level. Click save. All right, so our level is saved. Now here we can go back to our light mixer. We have here shaft occlusion bloom. We can control that. Now, in order to change the those clouds, which I'm not crazy about, let's go to our plugins and see if we have volumetric volumetrics right here. So we need to restart the engine in order to get this. So click save. Let's restart. And after restarting, we'll be able to have our volumetric library so let's go here down to plugins and the content we'll be able to find volumetric content and inside content sky materials we'll be able to find our map so uh, let's load our level by the way if you want to start it from the beginning, just go to maps and modes and switch this to your level to be loaded. So our was test level. So this guy and here too, let's do test level. So that way we'll be able to, to load our test level when the whole thing opens up. Now, Let's change our clouds. So I'm going to select my volumetric clouds. Let's go to the details of that cloud. And here we're going to change our cloud material. So from that folder uh, materials, we have this type of cloud. So let's put it in. I can see those are much nicer puffy clouds. We can fix them also. Let's lift them up a little bit. it's too close and again with let me make it a little bigger with control L we'll be able to control our sun light here 
I look at those beautiful light streaks that the sun creates amazing stuff all right so that being made we can go back to our uh, light mixer and here we can play with uh, with different parameters for our, our light intensity skylight atmosphere bloom effects uh, clouds all of that stuff here high fog if you want to have a little more foggy atmosphere or less foggy atmosphere so all of those parameters here to play around with okay now let's go back to our 3ds max first thing you need to install autodesk 3ds max exporter the data smith exporter so just type in in google data smith 3ds max you'll be able to find this exporter for unreal engine just click here download this double click and run it of course close your 3ds max before you do that then after the installation you'll be able to find that export data smith right here okay so i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually delete the lighting because i don't need that and this background too now i'm going to export that file and call it test click save export all right so the project been exported we get uh, some messages here textures some textures not been exported properly so everything needs to be uh, default nothing procedural nothing complicated that stuff is not going through uh, that smith okay so that's been exported now let's go to our unreal engine and into our content i'm gonna drop this model so here oops so here inside content right click import find your um, uh, this actually we do not import we actually import that through data smith so we have to activate our data smith plugin data smith fbx importer right here so we need to again save and restart the engine in order to uh, take effect for this importer plugin okay now that we have it here if we go to create we'll be able to find data smith file import okay so from here click import navigate to your folder and this test let's open it up and just drop it into our content we don't need lights because we're going we already rebuilt the lights here so let's bring that in all right and let's see what we got now everything's dark because sometimes this project comes with this global exposure so just select and delete that we don't need it so we'll get we'll get uh, our exposure back now let's see where our project is right here gonna click F to zoom in and uh, voila this stuff is looking already great look at that look at that lighting here look at those angles the gi works everything works really nice and again if we uh if we bring this control l we can play around with the lighting i mean this stuff is just amazing look at that wow okay now uh, let me get in and see what we've got here again uh, control L and uh, I'm gonna get some nice lighting here something like this it's looking great okay now uh, we have some issue with the glass so let's go to the glass 
tinted glass and here I don't know why they did it so complicated I'm actually gonna select uh, it's thin translucent I'm gonna select default lit and click save you can see that it's now transparent uh, the glass and just because we did it on the master file all the changes going to be applied to all the textures there have been reference here so I'm guessing all the glass should become transparent and voila we have it here and look at the lighting this stuff is so amazing shift L I mean this stuff look at that light wow I love the light streaks the volumetric light of course you can make it much stronger if you uh, if you go to your uh, light bloom effects and directional light, I think somewhere here. Shaft occlusion, bloom scale. Yeah, right here. You can see we're getting really cool light streaks. And this, this stuff is just working amazing. I love it. Okay, now um, let's get some camera here. I'm gonna fix that in order to get a little better angle. Something like this. Now here we can drop camera in create. We have camera actor, let's put it here. And I can also go into camera view. Let's rotate it. Zoom out a little bit, I wanna get some cool angle here. And if we select camera and go down to the current focus length, we can lower it down, let's put 12. That way we'll be able to gather all that, uh, all that space, which is looking amazing. Now, if you want to do animation with the camera, we need to bring our level sequence. So let's just create a new one, call it new level sequence. And here by selecting our camera actor, and now adding this camera actor on a track, add to the sequencer, add camera, and you can see it's already been added with the camera cuts. Now here, if we wanna do some animation, uh, what we gotta do is create a keyframe on the transform, move your, oops, let me move that here. Now move your cursor forward, let's say 150 frames, and here also uh, just move the camera forward let's say like this and then create another keyframe and now we have camera animation between keyframe to keyframe now what I like to do here is uh, have everything linear so I'm gonna select that go to my curves and in location gonna select all of these guys and put it to linear all right so straight lines that way we will have nice smooth transition from point A to point B all right pretty cool stuff it's nice and smooth camera move okay now if you want to render this just gonna click here on the render export movie and you can export that you can also do it with the movie render queue and have a little bit better quality with all the other controls there for ray tracing and global illumination and uh, this can be a high-end production it's just so little time to fit everything in one video 
so we will cover those things in the upcoming tutorials so make sure to subscribe and thanks a lot for watching this is alex your very guy talk soon ciao